I hope they they are shown now uh, as well. Um, I saw that uh, in the agenda uh, there was a little typo: hot to bidirectionally use our cell ceilings. I like this as well, uh, but it should be how to bidirectionally use our cell ceilings. So both are quite okay. So um, as a kind of summary, our cell ceilings are by nature uh, unidirectional. We need them uh, bidirectionally. Uh, you could that just mimic this with using two links instead of one. Uh, but this could be quite difficult sometimes when one link is valid and the other isn't and with different versions and so on. And therefore PTC developed and implemented the capability to use unidirectional links also from the re reverse direction, which means uh, the question uh, or the query, uh, who is connected to me? Uh, this functionality is available for both Winchell RBNS and Winchell Modeler. Uh, Winchell itself, PDM link, will come by end of this year. Uh, and I would like to show this tool capability from both uh, uh, PTC as systems and software engineering tools. Okay, good. Just to, um, uh, to show um, uh, this type of uh, tool set, Winchell, Winchell RBNS and Winchell Modeler, we are uh, using uh, this as a kind of federated single source of truth for different uh, uh, specific tasks uh, in this area. And uh, what I like most uh, uh, in order to explain this, we have our systems of records, uh, including systems as well. And uh, we have all of these specialized tools with their relationships internally. And we have then standards uh, specifically OSLC to connect all of these things and also to connect to third party tools here as well. Okay, so from the theory, how to link certain things, there are a lot of possibilities. Duplicate and link, link databases, duplicate data, links things bidirectionally and links uh, use uh, direct links unidirectional and uh, we are using direct links unidirectional, uh, upstream, downstream. Uh, these links are stored always on one end and we have a loose coupling in this area also to, to use, um, let's say, customer or domain specific methodologies uh, in these areas. So the benefits for this, I mean, these are the benefits of OSLC. So uh, no data duplication, we can see the links in the native UIs, minimal impact of changes. It's simple and low cost uh, also for the implementation uh, at the customer side. And we have is uh, isolation from individual uh, uh, product changes. And there are these chain challenges here as well. So uh, we need uh, to have um, uh, servers to provide remote queries in order to link from upstream and viewing and reporting of links across more than just uh, uh, two system uh, 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 need to be um, developed uh, individually here as well. Okay, so we are using OSLC. Uh, just a kind of reminder of, of these tools, Winchell Modeler, this is where I'm coming from, uh, uh, is for model-based systems and software engineering. Uh, we have simulation, code simulation, and so on, and OSLC, client and server. So the OSLC server is a, uh, uh, is a server for requirements manage, uh, sorry, architecture management and requirements management. And uh, we allow all of our data of the model then uh, um, to be seen using OSLC uh, with, with the usual concepts of um, authentication and so on. Good. The OSLC client is a generic client uh, and we have a specific OSLC browser. I will show this in a minute. Uh, and uh, we have dedicated uh, interfaces for specific uh, OSLC servers. This is not only uh, uh, our tools like Winchell Modeler itself. So we can link from Modeler to Modeler. Uh, uh, to Winchell uh, or Winchell RBNS, but also other tools like DAWs, DAWs Next Generation, and others are to come uh, in the beginning of next year. Good. So, uh, uh, RBNS is what used to be known as integrity? Yes. Okay, exactly. thanks. 
Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we renamed uh, um, the systems and software engineering tools uh, due to the fact that um, uh, this um, digital thread can be also seen as a kind of extended PLM system with different abstraction layers, different roles and tasks and so on. So it made sense to rename everything to Winchill. And so Winchill Modeler, it was previously called Integrity Modeler and then it's now Winchill Modeler, as well as Winchill RBNS, which was previously called Integrity Lifecycle Manager. Okay, good. So uh, additional topics are then, uh, well, uh, version specific OSLC links or canonical links. Uh, link suspecting uh, we have uh, uh, we have a reverse lookup right now as i said for rbms and windchill modeler windchill will become by end of this year we have then OSC, oslc review so uh, i can have then also um, static model um, uh, verification also running based on oslc links and we have then all of these uh, uh, links here uh, as well um, to other tools. Okay, now that was just hopefully quite fast and fast enough to go through these topics and I'd like to directly jump into the, uh, the systems here as well. Okay, good. So uh, let me just have to uh, uh, introduce uh, both tools I will have here. I hope I can move this a little bit apart. Here, here you see Winchell RVNS 12.5, uh, uh, the so-called Doc Studio. That's um, the uh, web-based front end uh, of RVNS. Uh, so it's not uh, only a, a fat client anymore. We can do a lot of stuff uh, uh, in the web client here as well. So here you see the requirement document. And uh, inside the, the requirement uh, uh, document, we have uh, a typical requirements management view. Uh, when we are, have a look into uh, uh, a requirement, for instance, here, and uh, you see we also have outgoing OSLC links. Uh, an outgoing OSLC links can be created here with added OSLC link here as well. So then I can select. Uh, uh, the server and so on, and then I can browse through the data which uh, the OSLC uh, server offers. Uh, here I have this type of link. Um, and uh, depending on if I already have used uh, uh, the, the, the credentials or not, um, I have to log in to authenticate myself. There are single sign-on functions here as well. And in order to have a little bit more interesting uh, link, I have linked uh, um, uh, this requirement to a specific uh, diagram here because we are also exposing in the delegated UI of Modeler, we are exposing the diagram uh, 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 information here as well. What type of information uh, are exposed here uh, can be also configured. So we are exposing uh, the title, uh, the contributor, of course, the ID, the description uh, as well. Uh, and so we have enough information to, uh, to use this, these links. And uh, so as this link is unidirectional, start in RB and S, definitely, um, our uh, model in uh, information. So here in this case, the diagram knows nothing about this type of links, but that's not a problem. Uh, here we have modeler or modeler UI uh, uh, with uh, of course now the same model. We have uh, the, uh, all of these type of diagrams here and we can directly jump uh, into this diagram. I can now, uh, take, for instance, uh, the diagram itself on the canvas and just say links. And then uh, you see that I have different possibilities for links, model, uh, model internal. Uh, uh, I could also have, for instance, links 
which are stored in the model. And I can see these links in the native system. And I could also have this find external OSRC links, which is the reverse lookup functionality. Okay, and so when you see, uh, uh, what kind of thing is here? A moment. Just looking for links. Cool. One hour ago, it worked perfectly. I will just open up this again. I can imagine what happens because this link is a um, version specific link. I have used uh, here model versioning. So let me open up uh, um, uh, this uh, model uh, in the previous version. So it's a feature, it's not a bug. And so we can go into links, find external OSRC links. Here we are. So uh, now you see that uh, this link uh, was done uh, based on the version 48. And the uh, version 49, as this link was not a canonical link, uh, uh, was done correctly. And so you see now we are uh, in the delegated UI of uh, an RBMS, and we have here the requirement which is connected uh, to these things. I could also now click on view in a native system, and then uh, we are basically here again in this area. So cool, it, it does work and it's really not a bug, it's really a feature. Okay, good. So that was one direction and uh, I'd like you, uh, I'd like also to show the other direction uh, um, that we can use uh, also create a link uh, inside um, modeler and then have a, a look back into uh, our, uh, our system. So when we are going back to my previous model. Okay. Here we have already created, um, just opening up a block definition diagram, a systemal block definition diagram. Here you see the OSLC servers and connected to a, a, a windshell um, OSLC server where I can ask for a, a query. So uh, we just add here, show me everything, which for instance is starting with seed. So here you see all of these VT parts, which are uh, shown as seed. I could also directly jump into the, uh, into the system here as well. So view a native system. Uh, here we are. I'm now in Windchill. I see all of this data. And of course, uh, if I'm following the URL inside uh, a modeler, I see the delegated UI uh, of Windchill. Uh, so this is really depending on this behavior uh, of the uh, different types of uh, the OSLC server. Here I have uh, RV and S. I can go through uh, all of the, uh, the different um, projects, for instance, and I could just go inside uh, the customer projects and I see the specifications and I see uh, all of these elements. Uh, uh, the configuration, uh, how they are presented here and, and exposed uh, is also uh, configurable. Here we are using a kind of artificial requirement name with the ID and then the uh, um, uh, specific uh, header. So we can find these things. I could also uh, uh, follow these uh, information and then you see that uh, I have the delegated UI of RVNS in this area. And the, the usage of something is quite, uh, quite simple. I can just drag and drop uh, the information here. Yeah, I have already created uh, this link. Um, 
so this um, back passenger display uh, block inside my audio system is uh, now linked with this OSLC link, which means if I'm double clicking it, I'm directly jumping into the uh, OSLC delegated UI, which is quite of nice. So this link is now a model object, which is used. And of course, this means that uh, I have now to go into Dub Studio and, um, and find, uh, just to make sure that we are looking into it, just go into here. And uh, I find the relevant information and know the ID. So here is uh, the requirement which we have linked to by the, uh, the model element. And uh, I can configure the stock studio in a, a way to have then uh, the here yeah, um, a column for the external OSM ceiling. I'm clicking into here, then I have to log in again. Okay, and then you see uh, uh, these uh, these links are there, and then I could just say preview. Uh, these elements, and then you see uh, uh, this information. And, and uh, for instance, here uh, you see the description, uh, which is part of the of the model information here as well. I just made it a little bit possibly more interesting. You see that the description is here uh, part of this this element. So uh, altogether, uh, that means that uh, using this reverse lookup capability we have uh, uh, the, uh, the possibility to create uh, unidirectional links, either upstream or downstream, uh, depending on the way uh, your methodology uh, uh, states that, for instance, I'd like to own the requirements, for instance, in, sorry, own the links in my requirements documents or own the links uh, uh, inside my model where I can also do some analysis then. But uh, nevertheless, uh, for every element, if, uh, if it's now here in RV and S, for instance, on a requirement, I could check, uh, is there something uh, I'm linked to? And then we can, uh, uh, we can find it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was all what I wanted to uh, to present uh, both as, as slides and uh, and um, uh, within the tools. I hope um, you like it. Uh, this uh, uh, version differencing was a kind of unplanned thing. Uh, however, uh, you see that um, uh, uh, it also works. It's just a matter of uh, if you are using then um, version, um, version links or if you are using canonical links in this area. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Andres. Um, in Q&A, there is a question from Jad. He asks, okay. uh, what kind of analysis capabilities uh, can he do uh, with these links? Okay, uh, analysis uh, in a way uh, that um, I can just, so I, I think this refers to uh, our, um, let me just move this to here, uh, uh, to our review capabilities. Uh, right now, um, the, uh, the model-based um, questions around um, OSLC links, if I'm uh, configuring something in this area, uh, these are all model internal checks and so on. And uh, we also have then just a look into, uh, into these things, metrics. Okay, here we are in the report. Um, uh, we have, uh, 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 we can report out in the model, for instance, um, we have, uh, model items, which are OSLC surrogates. I can show this, what this means, and they are uh, suspect model elements, which are surrogates, the model uh, elements with OSLC links. So all of the elements which have OSLC links, 
model elements which have OSR ceilings that are suspect and model items without OSR ceilings. I can limit uh, uh, these uh, things, for instance, also to packages. So when your uh, modeling paradigm states that I have, for instance, functions model as activities in a certain package, uh, I could check uh, uh, this uh, based on the package and say, can you please find me all of the um, uh, uh, functions without uh, OSR ceiling? So uh, these type of things are there. Just to um, show you the, uh, uh, the, the surrogates, the easiest or the, let's say the most prominent way of uh, surrogate would be that I have something like a, in, in Windchill, part of a bill of material, and I want to clarify uh, the integration uh, of, for instance, hardware uh, or mechanical elements with other uh, elements uh, on the layer uh, of um, our physical viewpoint. Uh, so usually then I would create an, a surrogate uh, element. Uh, and this is really a SOSML block which states I'm a SysML block and I can be used. Uh, for instance, let me just go back into. And the things uh, showing Jod is further asking if, if okay. in the, the workflow that you're you're showing other mm -hmm. OSC uh, or Jod is asking non PTC applications if they can be integrated into this workflow. But I'm assuming if he's talking about OSLC enabled applications. Exactly, OSRC enabled uh, applications and uh, what we definitely have, uh, uh, for instance, I, uh, I need to have is this capability of um, issuing this, this uh, report. Here I am with my ID. Can you please report all the elements which are linked to my ID? And, uh, and if this, uh, this query is available, then it would work. Here as well. It's just a matter of is this query available or not? Maybe along that, that question, I address this is around Gary from IBM. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really glad to see you guys doing it and, 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 and opening up. Uh, and um, yeah, so, so, so uh, I, I guess, uh, so you added the service that is, is, is doing the reverse linking and it also maintaining the validity is the same server you get the validity and you get the reverse link yes exactly it's the same okay. server. so i want to ask your opinion and I, I i wanted to propose because we we do we have a similar service in in ibm elm mm -hmm. uh so so i was thinking that we need to standardize it because if at least the api is because if you want for example a dng to talk to your system or, or some mm -hmm. other then, then that needs to, that API is this, this to be a standardized service. So mm -hmm. what do you think about it? I think uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a good idea to, uh, to have something uh, uh, standardized because this is, a, uh, this is an idea uh, or uh, um, an idea of using uh, uh, our unidirectional links uh, in the, in the reverse direction. And if we had this- We, we do the same in IBM uh, for the same reasons, right? So, so, yeah, so, exactly. uh, so, so what, you, uh, what you're showing here today is, is actually uh -huh. uh, is, is a good support for the idea that mm -hmm. we need to standardize yeah. something called, uh, we call it a link index, you call it a reverse lookup, mm -hmm. but, but it, it's, it's, I guess it's needed anywhere where you use OSC. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I think to, to, to have an approach for, uh, for standardizing this idea because uh, it's, uh, it's generally needed uh, would be good. And uh, of course, this would involve uh, our product development uh, and uh, uh, product management to, to have a look. Yeah, the again, the, 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 the idea is, is just to, to have a standard OSC mm -hmm. API. Yeah. So you, if you're in a certain context environment, mm -hmm. you, you, you can find the, the reverse link server, and then you, mm -hmm. you can also know, you, you also know how to query the reverse link mm -hmm. server, right? That, that's the, the, yeah. it's, not, right. it's not about the implementation. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you have an implementation, we have an implementation, but- Yeah, but, yeah exactly, yeah, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and my, my other questions, are you guys also using, because you showed 
version-specific links? Are you thinking uh, about using uh, global configs, global configurations? Uh, actually, for the implementation, you know that uh, we have this uh, uh, this type of uh, DOS next generation OSLC server here as well, and uh, we are using uh, global configs here as well. So this is uh, one very important addition uh, uh, to this connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. I have you guys uh, gave some thought into how possibly. Uh, mitigate the idea of global configs with the PLM configuration concepts because yeah, uh, uh, in which uh, you? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's uh, that's also a good idea to, to have this uh, also kind of standardized because uh, uh, for instance, in, in the model itself, we have also uh, um, uh, the, the notion of an over, um, uh, overloaded system. So this model itself, for instance, contains variability. Uh, and so, uh, it's, uh, it consists of a 150% uh, model. And, uh, and so uh, having done the idea of a global config uh, uh, in order to access this somehow uh, using OSLC, why not? That's, that's also a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good stuff. Great. Uh, um, perfect. Any other questions? We have one.